The subject of abortion is in the news again today. It's never an easy topic to discuss. In fact, three of us sitting around this desk today know exactly how difficult it can be, as we've actually had one. Um, Katie, you were saying today you've had a termination, haven't you? I have, yeah, and I'm not proud of it, but it's one of them things. Um, it, there's no easy to way to talk about abortion. Even with Harvey, I went three times to abort him. And I didn't actually go through with it. I actually sat there with the cloak on in the clinic. Aww. You're with all the women and you're like, you all know what you're there for. And then I thought, I just can't do it. I can't three times. And then in the end, I thought, do you know what? I'm young because I didn't know what was going to happen mm. in my career and stuff. I thought, do you know what? Stuff it. I'm earning money. I didn't, I wasn't with the guy. And I just thought, do you know, what? I'm going to take the risk and do it. So mm. I did do it. Um, I mean, I didn't do it. I carried on having yeah. Harvey. And that was brilliant. I'm glad I did. But, you know, the abortion things, you know... Did you get any kind of help through that? You know, because you're supposed to get some kind of counselling and, of course, you're supposed to get they two do. signatures for any doctor to approve mm. an abortion. All I remember is, is um, they talk about why you want it and they scan you, and I think that's bad as well when they scan you, because if, like, you don't know if you want to do it or not, they scan you and if there's a heartbeat... You know, which in a way is good because it should make you realise, is this really what you want? You get a lot of women who are pressured by men who want to have abortions and not necessarily the women who want to do it. It's such an open thing. There's just so many reasons why some people do and then they don't. You did have one when you were younger, though. Is that right? You had to I've, had, I've had a couple, yeah. It's have nothing you? to be proud. I'm just so bloody fertile, <laughs> as you can tell. Um, <laughs> But no, is, is there a wrong or is there a right? To me, I think if you're like six to eight weeks, OK, anything more than that, mm. I, I actually disagree. Because from 16 weeks to 20 weeks, you feel baby kick. Mm. And mm. I know we've all got our things in it, but I might as well just say my bit now. With Bunny, at 23 weeks, my water's broke. So the doctor said, you can give birth, but, you know, there's a risk she might not survive or she'll have lots of deformities and all of that or we can give you a stitch and she might not make 28 weeks. So I decided to do the stitch. So I was really careful all through And then I got to about 31, 32 <coughs> weeks and then she was born and she was fine. But they do say at 28 weeks, normally a baby would be fine. Mm. But I'm just gonna say this quickly again. If you look at a baby at 23 weeks on YouTube or anything, it's an actual baby. So how people would want to abort that or even further on, it's just like, what happens? You give birth and the baby's alive. Mm. What, you just let it gasp for breath and you don't help it? If you've enjoyed that, then why not click here for more? And don't forget to subscribe by clicking here so that you never miss out on the best Loose Women moments. Get home and you do this, you pull yourself together and you open the front door and smile mm. because you don't want to burden anybody else, whether it's family or friends or, or your other half or anything like that, because they're not necessarily going to understand. And I think that... Did your other half pick up on it, though? Uh, no, I was very good at hiding it.